When you've come this far in the project, I hope you've removed the outer casings as well as the cylinder and the piston. The goal here is to loosen the bolts holding the clutch. I made a homemade clip to get a good grip on these nuts, but they were totally stuck. I had to come up with something else. So I took some M6 nuts and I welded them onto the nuts of the clutch. And this allowed me to loosen them. Avoiding putting too much stress on the nuts, I loosened them a little at the time. After a proper coffee break. I'm collecting all the discs to the clutch and to remove the inner part of the clutch you need a special tool that will lock it. This was really stuck like everything else in this engine so I needed some heat and I tried again. but I needed proper tools. And this did the trick. With socket number 10, I'm removing the camshaft assembly. And when you pull it out, make sure you're lifting the lifters for the push rods. That will ease the removal of the camshaft. And this is socket number 18. To loosen this, you have to do it the other way around. You have to unscrew it or unwind it clockwise. Again, this was a real tricky one. I did not manage by hand, so I needed more heat. And more heat, and a proper tool. With the pneumatic nut driver set to the highest setting, I was finally able to release the nut. Even the washer proved to be a bit of a challenge. I had to use pliers to loosen this one as well. Obviously clockwise. Now I'm removing the inner lifter for the push rod. And the inner one is for the intake. Mind you, the push rods are of different lengths and the shorter one is for the inlet, the intake. Please pay close attention to the alignment of the gear for the camshaft. There are actually two markings. The one 12 o'clock is for the keyway and then you have three or four o'clock, the second marking in. And that's where the cam timing is. The inner part of the clutch, no surprise there, it was really stuck as well. So, again with the heat and the use of a soft mallet.
I'm pulling both the pusher and the outer part of the clutch. And please note there's a washer inside with a special profile. It's a bit tricky to get a hold of, so I use two magnets to pull it out. And please note that this washer is curved on the inner face towards the engine. So the rounded part goes towards the center of the engine. Now it's time to leave this dirty engine and uh, feel free to watch part 2 of this disassembly. Thank you for watching.